This is the Red All Over Show, sponsored by footyprint.com, with me, Joe Beardsall, Andy Simcox, Josh Atherton, and Alan Smith. And we were supposed to be starting about 20 minutes ago, but Andy and Alan have spent that time talking about their afternoon, evening plans, aren't you, lads? Now everything's opening back up. Al's off to the pub. Oh, come visit me, dog. Oh, come have fish and chips at my house. Oh, we're best mates, us two. Come on, let's hang out. Tumble hey, down, granddad over there. It certainly is now. It's, it's all because the broadband at home has gone down for the last five days. So I've come over to Brampton to my brothers. I'm not far from Smithy, but my brothers. So well, at least he, he, come, he comes over to see me, not like you, and tumble down Ted, no show. Chuck, I'm all the way in Mapplewell, mate. We've got roadworks now for the next seven weeks. I'm stuck. I thought you were a good... I thought, well, all you've got to do is to get your earphones on, get... Uh, Get Val on, on your earphones, and you can run it to Al. Surely to goodness. I thought you could do an extra five miles when you were listening to Val. Or were Mapple you fibbing? Mapple to Brampton? Or... Mapple to Brampton? I don't think I've got that in me, pal. Hey, excuse I, I me, no, you make it that, every Thursday night, just down the road to Woolmore to play football. Me and Smithy are doing it for our Sunday dinners that distance. Not now, <laughs> well, like, obviously. Anyway, but... Reds, so this is... Anyway, anyway, finish. birthday oh, present, because I'm 67, I'm nearly as old as Smithy now. From my grandchildren and daughter Catherine, tumbled down granddad. Look what she did. And I know, don't, don't lie to me, Joe, because I know you've had something to do with this. Because, to do with me. Right, you said that, but you see, my daughter, she she don't hide anything from her dad because she's she's my lovely daughter. She she's like not that. Not like Jonathan, like not like your, your son that you've disowned then. Well, I'm trying not to don't talk about him. I don't want to bring him into it. <laughs> so she said that she contacted you, Joe, and you got the photograph. So you've got one of these to take a photograph, unlike poor Al, who, was, who still hasn't got one. So you sort of But what she did do, because she felt so, so sorry for Alan, for my birthday, she got me this and all. She had this made for us. And she said, I've done two. Can you give one to Alan, please? Ah. Look at that. That's going to come so, in. Oh, on. look at that. The, Bram the Bram Brampton Bandits, eh? Watch there out for as well. So Both that's things. what we were organising. I want to drop off. I was going to do it last week. I want to drop off Al's face mask. You know, because then we're a bit look. He'll do all next show with a face mask on. You know, everybody's a winner then. Well, we've been trying to shut I'm him up for a long time, so we'll see if that works. Um, right, Reds, on to tonight's mini show, because we're doing mini shows over the summer to keep you entertained. Um, we are talking breaking news on this show. Devante Cole. Played for Barnsley a bit before. Come back from Motherwell this time and has signed a three-year deal with Barnsley. So a new striker for the Reds. Or his return to it well anyway. Um, mixed feelings, I think, lads, on this one from quite a lot of fans on Twitter today. Some welcoming, welcoming him back, saying, you know, great to have you back, Devante. Um, others saying, you know, OK, we, we didn't see the best of him maybe when he was younger, but it was a long time ago now, so let's see how he's developed and obviously scored quite a few goals at Motherwell. And then others just saying that, you know, we should uh, we should trust the spreadsheet. And I, I think I'm in the trust the spreadsheet camp. So as always, Reds, we love your comments. Give us a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Comment what you think. Um, all comments are welcome, so keep it nice in the chat, gang. Um, you know, whatever your opinion is, whether you agree with someone else's or not, keep it nice and friendly. We are a family show. Right, Andy, I know I'm not going to agree with you, so go on then, lad. What you got to say about this? Let's have an argument. <laughs> well, it's hard to argue with somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about, isn't it, Al? So I'll try and keep it, you know, because he's a journalist, isn't he, or he was. Uh, now, now, I'm really pleased that he's signed. I mean, I... Re I, I remember, see, I remember Devante before, and, and, and like you said, he, he, were a, he were a young guy before, and he came on loan to us from Manchester City. So there were rumours or reports, call it what you want, true or not, I have no idea. They were a bit of a big-time Charlie. Who knows? Don't know. Um, so, but off, off he went. I saw him, like, like you I've seen him a few times. I saw him away at, um, at Rochdale, me and my lad, that I try not to talk about, Went to watch him, watch him at Rochdale, and that kid was outstanding. I have never seen anybody that quick. He got ball. I thought he were we playing. I thought right. He got ball. I thought right. He knocked it down line, and I thought, well, who's he passed that to? There's nobody there, and he set off, and he was miles behind anybody, and he got to it first. He was like lightning. So I think, you know, if if he's he's 26 now, I think is that right? 26. 
if he, he's matured, he's come from Motherwell, I understand, I believe, anyway, on a free transfer, you know, you know, Bosman will call it what you want. And, you know, so we've not paid a huge fee. I thought you were an outstanding, an outstanding player that lost his way a little bit. For me, it's a great signing. And I, I can see him doing really good things for us. I, I sincerely hope so. If he hadn't lost any of that speed, I've not seen anything quite like his speed. So hopefully he can, the kid can dribble, you know, whether... You know, it, it weren't quite strong enough, I don't think, before. But, you know, he's 26, he's good, whatever it is. I don't know, six, seven years on, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, good luck to him. And I, I'm really glad he's signed. Alan, I can I can see the fans who are saying, mm, you know, I don't think he played bad when he was at Barnsley last time, but he didn't really show his best at that time. And he was very young as well. I think we're about, how old were we, about 18? 18, like 18, 18. So, it, it, you know, I can see fans saying, oh, we've had him before and he wasn't, you know... We didn't see the best of him. But at the same time, look at the, when we think about it, you know, I guess fans weren't that excited when Carl Morris came in or when Callum Britton came in. But look, look, look what we think of them now that, you know, the, we think they're absolutely incredible. So, you know, it's easy to, to judge before a ball's been kicked and we've seen him in action. It is, Joe. We signed him on 19th of August, 2014-15 season and we had him on loan until 5th of January from Man City. Uh, and I think in 19 appearances, he scored five goals for us. Uh, this time, he's come from uh, Motherwell, uh, and in 31 appearances, he scored 12 goals. Uh, so he has matured. Uh, he is getting goals. He's in double figures. Uh, and I think it's a good replacement for DK. Uh, and he gives it a bit extra in air as well. What do you reckon, Josh? It's a bit of an interesting I think... one. I weren't expecting it. We were just we were discussing it. Now. We put out their little teaser who it were going to be, and um, I said twenty six. Not usually, you know, I recruit usually we go bit younger than that. They put out the teaser, but who got it right? Or who, or, uh, or, to be fair, Josh gets credit right. right. He, he did call it, it right. right. He did call it right. Um, no, I think it's a good sign. He's got no strings attached. It's a free transfer. There's no fee behind it. So for me, he, even if he stays a year and we sell him on, we've made profit. It's there's there's no downside to this signing. Really don't understand anyone writing him off. It was the first, when we took him from City. It was his first time play, playing man's foot football, not playing in under twenty ones, not playing in under eighteens. It's first time playing professional foot football. You can't judge someone off that. Look at Ivan Tony. We've done it before. Oh, he's no good. Him. He's just he's just broke the record for goal scored in the championship. Because when he were at us, he didn't he, he didn't do that because he was still a young teenager developing and learning. And I think. He's been he's he's done his grounding in League One. He's been up to Scott Scottish Premier League. He's done really well for Motherwell. And I think I watched his uh, highlights package earlier, which I'm going to take at face value because obviously there's not going to, it's only his highlights which he's done well. But he looks he looks a lot a lot more of a rounded player now. A lot uh, he played a lot uh, from what from what his highlights showing. He played a lot with his back to goal, which I thought were interesting because I thought he'd be much better at turning behind. But then you just saw that glimpse of pace that half yard he's got. As soon as he turns, he's off and he's into space. And I think he looks an exciting player. It would When when he got the ball and uh, he got his back to goal, he's always looking to turn and then drive forward, which I think is something we've missed at times. We've been a bit we've been a bit too... In, it, towards the back in the season, we're a bit too early just to knock knock a ball and send someone chasing after it. And to be fair, for someone to chase after it, I won't mind it being Devante Cole, like Andy said, with his pace. So I think he looks a lot more. He looks a lot, a lot more rounded, and he seems to have progressed leaps and bounds to me. Yeah, I, I saw the highlights. Thought it was impressive. I mean, they always tend to be quite impressive on yeah, the highlights. I think you could put mine together, and I'd be if decent. To be fair, lads. Don't be silly. Well, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Sometimes well, I just set myself up. Didn't Devante score his first professional goal for us when he were with us on loan? I think that that think was his so, first yeah. goal in, in professional football. It went uh, nice so, to see Al, weren't it, in his comments? He said, um, he's still here, Al, you froze a bit there. Yeah. It was nice to see in his comments, I think he said that, you know, he, he wishes he's never left Barnsley, which, you know, that's that's quite nice to hear when a player's signing for your club and he says that. It is, and on social media, somebody we put, put on about just seeing uh, Andy call it club shot about a fortnight ago, so there were a, a lot of speculation around prior to the signing today. Uh, and yeah, I, th I think he's going to be a different player. I think when he first came to us, it, it was his first professional club from Man City playing in league football. So it was all strange. It was all new to him. Uh, and he's been out on loan to several clubs and then Motherwell. 
uh, and we've got him for three years. So uh, it's part of our setup to get another player on a long, long, long contract. And I, th- I think he'll be a different player to what fans are, are thinking. What is he going to give us? I don't think he's going to be as lazy as what he was. I think when he first came, he's learned, he's eager, and he's, he's keen, and and that's what you want in a footballer. Andy, you mentioned about, and I think Al's kind of alluded to it a little bit there about some fans suggesting maybe he was a bit of a big time Charlie when he when he first came to us. But I think you know at seventeen, whose attitude's perfect. It's very hard you get a seventeen year old who's sort of themselves out. You know what I mean? Learn learn a lot of things and got a bit of wisdom behind him. You know what I mean? I could say I would, I would make, I would probably a bit, a bit cocky at 17. I know how Caleb is and he's about that age right now. So you can't well, blame him for that. Well, Smithy is different to when Smithy was 17, he got a right attitude. He got a good attitude. Smithy. Oh yeah. All right. I bet. And, and he deserved, you know, we so went all the way around with Smithy then. That's what happened. No, now, no. He's, now he's got a we, bad attitude. With Smith, with Smithy's ability, he could have been a big time Charlie, but he weren't. Unlike you, who are saying you were a bit, you know, you come across a bit cocky and you've got no to back it up from what Josh is saying. No, flipping egg. So, you know, you've taken one picture of your shooting. I mean, we don't even know if you were on target. You could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? Could have been I old. guarantee it weren't on target. I well, can then, guarantee then, you then, that. Mate, it was an go. absolute perfect penalty top bag. What are you on about? That, that must have been penalty. That must have been Rosehead at least. It could have got into it got, could go into a point where it starts being like AA BB that it's run that far. Dear me. Dear me. So, you know, but yes, so I, I, I gathered that I, I, and I'd forgotten. I, I, Alan Josh are absolutely right. It came it came from Babby's football and it's straight into a Mester's team, a bit like Ugbo. Please don't re-sign Ugbo. I'm not suggesting re-signing Ugbo. We're getting no. the band back together. No. I don't Leroy know. Lita's signing next week, Andy. No, no. Sam Winall, get Sam Winall in. I'm kidding. That really, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, so he's playing, you know, like, like they said, he, he, were, he were a babby coming into a men's league and he's been at Man City. He were doing really well in Man City's babby team, you know, and look look at it, you know, he, he, he were a star in babby's team. Come out for some, some Mester training and, you know, if he were a bit big time, Charlie, I don't know. That That's where I'd heard. I don't know if he's right or wrong. Um, but he's certainly, I don't believe he'll be like that now. And, and like Josh says, it's nice to hear, because I didn't know this, I've not looked at his eyelash yet. It's nice to know that he can do it with his back to go, because I always thought he's a man that you're going to get and, and slide in, you know, slide it in behind defender for him to run onto. But if he can if he can hold it up as well, because I, I didn't see him as a target man, like I was saying, I didn't see him as a target man to replace uh, Daryl DK. I thought, well, is that, that, that's not where he's, the sort of player he's going to be. But who knows? I, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I don't think it's the end result. I think we need more. But no, Yeah, well, that kind of moves on to my next sort of question. You guys have all been really positive about Devante signing, so have I. I'm excited about it, Reds. I think, you know, uh, like Josh, I think it was Josh who said, nothing gained, nothing, you know, he's free transfer. It's a really, it seems like a really good deal. If, he, if he's brilliant for us, you know, potentially we could either make a, a big profit or he becomes a great Barnsley player, or if he doesn't do it, you know, nothing's lost. Josh, a few fans I've seen a little bit negative in the sense that, or if you don't want to call it that, a little bit, you know, sort of just saying, you know, if maybe we should be a bit more ambitious in who we're signing because we finished fifth last season. But how do you feel about that? Do you think, can you see their point of view or what do you think? I don't, I, like, I, I appreciate you. We've finished higher than we ever have. So expectations are still there and we want to be ambitious and progress. But we are still we we are still who we are. We still operate. We're at lowest budgets in in league, regardless of where we finished last season. We still operate like that. So we are going to make shrewd signings like this. Not every single player we sign is going to be the next Callum Britton or the next DK. That's not how it works. Some work, some don't. And you're not going to get every every single signing as a massive household name. And if if Devante Cole comes in and does an half decent job then for me he's he's done what he's there to do because he's not he's not he's not going to arrive as that marquee summer signer or at least I hope he doesn't anyway I hope there is more to come and there's someone that's a little bit more exciting but if he he can either develop into that player and he becomes a go-to player going forward or if he just comes in as a role player and squad player he's done his job for me and I think there's just I, I mean I can see where fans are coming from you want to see his progression thingy but with transfer windows barely begun, like pre season's not even start, not even started yet. So, why are we why are we panicking about the first player we've signed 
not being a world beater. Totally agree, Josh. I don't know, Andy, waving. I just want to touch waving. I'm waving, I'm waving through a window. <laughs> waving through a window at my wife and, and sister-in-law coming in. I'm going to try and stop them. So oh, they're not talking. Like... Unusually, they're not talking, which is... Uh... <laughs> oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, <laughs> hello, Sue. It's Anglesey and all over else. again. There we go. Uh, we're back, back in pub in Anglesey. Um, right, to finish, lads, I wanted to ask you, though, so we're all excited about Devante signing, but... Do you think he's a replacement for Daryl DK? Or is he is the thinking someone else might leave? What's your thoughts on that, just to finish? Do you think he'll he'll replace someone who's at the club or is it or do you think the thinking will bring him in just to strengthen because we've not got DK and we'll look to sign uh, and that might be the, the straight replacement? He might get somebody else in, Joe. Who knows? Uh, it's first. I mean, I don't think we Probably need another another strike. So I think we're, we're decent up front. Looking on social media, what uh, Victor's doing. Victor's doing a lot of work now. Uh, close footwork. Uh, he's got his speed up, and I think we could see Victor doing uh, better ne- next season because, uh, as I say, with his touch, with his close touch and contact, what we're at fault, uh, and he's, he's working hard on it. So I, I don't think we need anybody else up front. Josh, I don't, I don't see Devante being a Daryl DK type of player, though. No, definitely. He's another, he's another with pace, isn't he? So you're looking, if you're comparing, Connor Chaplin, Dominic Freezer style more than yeah, the, the Daryl DK. Yeah, definitely. I think he's either coming in to replace one of them or he's coming in to add to that. I think one thing we don't want to do is rest on his laurels, which I get this signing, like I think it was Man City a few years ago, just went through the season without signing anybody and, and you stagnate. You can't you can't stagnate as a team, even if you're just bringing in squad players, like it just freshens it up, it freshens up the dressing room. You've now got a different option to turn to because players have all got different traits and things like that. Uh, Devant A. Cole's quite, he's quite tall. Is he six foot? I think he's six one. So he's got he, he's got a bit of height height about him, which Chaplin and Freeze haven't. But he's got he's probably just a bit quicker than them, and that's uh, you've got Morris Woodrow and Devante, Devante Cole say as a front three. That's a relatively tall front three, and there's a fair amount of pace amongst them as well. So it's it's just a different option. It's someone else that we can turn to, and I think it should it should work out as a, as a good sign. I think. Don't forget Joshua Patrick Smith to come back off loan. Yeah, that's going to be it. So, what, what, what that takes up to seven or eight strikers or se- seven or eight players in that yeah, front three. Se- yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, Andy, is we know that Val likes to rotate his strikers. So, we're not the sort of club where you just need two or three strikers and that's that's your job done. We, we do need to probably have six at least, it's probably a, the, the magic number. Um, but there is going to be a massive fight for places again. I, I imagine if, like, like Alan says, I don't know if Patrick will be in the future planning. You know, we we appreciate everything he's done for the club when he has played because he, he, you know, he basically helped save us, didn't he, with that goal against Forest and then assist for Adore. Um, But obviously, like he says, quite a few names in there now, so it's going to be an interesting, interest to see how that sort of striker position sort of. I think it'll be different summer, as well next season because we've not got five subs. Val's oh, big. Oh, not, have we? I forgot. I think that. that that's that's going to be the big thing. It's going to be very difficult to keep that that amount of players happy unless you are making all unless your three subs is going to be the front the front three because we haven't got five subs next season. Remember, so it's only you've only got three subs to work with, and you so maybe only, five strikers might be. Yeah, I think I think there's definitely there's going to be a few on the way out. There's I I, I reckon if if Devante Cole's not the direct replacement for DK. I reckon you're going to see two, maybe three from from players go if we sign someone then that's got the characteristics and traits which we've been missing since DK's gone. What do you think, Andy? Finish it off for us, what do you reckon? I think there's a few things, really. I'll, I'll try and keep it brief to finish it off. But for me, the, the, there's a couple of things. I, I do think we need another striker, but it does depend on, on, on other things. I, I do think it's a big season for Victor. And I'm, I'm, like Alan, I've seen that he's been putting his close control has been letting him down. He's a big, strong lad, uh, and he, uh, he, he's got he's got something. But I don't think he's shown it. He's, I don't think he's shown it enough this season. It's a big season for him next year. So for me, if he, if he can step up, then that's fine. If he can't, then he needs to find he needs to find his level, and it won't be with us. I think the same for Connor Chaplin. If I'm honest, and I know you like him, and I don't mind him. 
you know, he, he, he scored a couple of good goals, but he's, he's, he's not consistent enough for me. He's quick, he presses, he's not consistent. Patrick Smith, it may be that Devante is a replacement for Patrick Smith. I don't know if he's coming back. If he comes back, Patrick comes back and he's going to, you know, we, we're going to try and make it, he's got to step up because, again, for him, like with Victor, it's, it, it's do it or, 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 or off you go, love. You can't, you can't, it can't be both. So I don't know if he's going to stay or if he's going to, you know, leave this summer. I don't know what he's going to do. But if he comes back, then it's make or break for him as well. Um, so I, I think we need another. I don't think it's just the striker we need. We need to replace anybody that goes. That's for certain. We need to replace any, you know, whoever goes. We need to replace them. Um, for me, at this minute, and I don't know what's going to happen with Alex Mowit. I thought we needed to strengthen midfield. But as Alan said before. We've got Herbie coming back, and I rate Herbie Kane. You know, he can, you know, dead ball, long throw, you name it, he, he can do it. If he's if he's fit and running, it's when we get an injury because there's times when, um, towards the end of this season, it's just been on Ramal Palmer because we haven't had the chance to be able to change it much, except for Halm, who I think, I pose a defender personally, can play there, but I think he's seen as a defender myself. Um, so I think we need to strength, either strengthen in midfield or get somebody. Andy, what's well next? We're doing, we're doing a show later this week all about strengthening. That's jumped straight in, lad. This is all well, about Devante Cole. As debate of the week, which is coming out later this week, Reds, is going to be... I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do sorry, what you're, not inviting you. you're not inviting you now, Andy. You've already said you're too penneth, mate. I'll, I'll do what you do then, Joe. I'll just repeat myself then on next show. I'll just do what you do. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank Emma for a pre-show cut. Thank you, Emma. Oh, here we go. It's time to oh, thank you all hey, over. Red all over. Thanks for my lovely cuts from Eastgate Barbers. Josh, would you like to thank you, Barber? I would like Georgie. to thank Darren because he did this at the weekend. He's a lovely job as Darren. <laughs> well done, Darren. <laughs> Andy, Andy, would you like to thank you, Barber? <laughs> I, go, I go like that. I go like I thank myself because I go like that. We're raised. That's that's all I have to do. It don't cost me out. I'm not, I'm, oh. not I'm not like you. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Ray Tell Reds. Me bald guy. Don't worry about it. You know. <laughs> we love you really, Andy. Give, give this show. Sod off. That's the word I want. Hey, Learn family more. show. Family show. I know. Oh, uh, oh, give oh, this... That's why it's only that. <laughs> I'm getting it as soon as we finish this, by the way. Um, right. Give us a thumbs up, Reds. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Hopefully, we can try and hit 100 likes on this show. So if you've enjoyed the show, give us a thumbs up. 100 likes. Uh, I don't know what Andy's doing. He's telling you, what's that? Give us a little chance. Nah, don't, yeah. don't know that. All right, okay, fair enough. It's not that complicated. We'll try, try it under likes. We it one for a while, not on these mini shows. Let's, so, so let's see if we can do that. Help us out. And we will be back later this week with another show. We'll be doing Red Oliver debate, talking all about where Barnsley need to strengthen next. <laughs>